Welcome to Money Minute with Nelson, where you'll discover insider secrets on how to save time, energy, and money when buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, and maintaining your home. This episode is brought to you by Nelson Souza of Real Mortgage Associates, a trusted mortgage provider for home buyers. Now, here's your Money Minute. Okay, today we're going to talk about what a stratified market is and what it means to you. If you're planning to buy or sell a house, you're probably already familiar with the terms buyer's market and seller's market. In a buyer's market, there are more homes than buyers, so prices drop and buyers get better deals. In a seller's market, there are more buyers than homes, so prices rise and sellers make more money. But there's a third type of market, and it's called a stratified market. In a stratified market, different neighborhoods in a single city experience different levels of supply and demand. For instance, high-end neighborhoods may have gotten so expensive that the demand for houses drops and there's a buyer's market. But at the same time, mainstream neighborhoods may look comparatively inexpensive, so demand for homes rises and there's a seller's market. This means the city as a whole is in a stratified market. An experienced realtor is essential in stratified markets so you know which segment you fall into. As a buyer, this lets you concentrate on a handful of carefully selected neighborhoods and know whether you'll be offering above or below the asking price. And if you're selling, it lets you know how to set the most effective asking price. So there you have it. I've just explained what a stratified market is and how it can affect you as a buyer versus seller. For more information or if you'd like a recommendation on a top-notch real estate agent, call us today. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Money Minute with Nelson. If you have any questions or comments, please call Nelson today at 519-755-2446.